Okay, um, a friend of mine says these Lynch letters are fake. They've been proven to be a hoax. Um, regardless of that, regardless if this is a fake or proven to be a hoax or not, these teachings have been taught to all of humanity. If you were a slave owner and you even picked this up and began to think about doing it, how long would you would it take you to subcon be subconsciously doing it to other people of your own color? When you throw a bunch of poison in the water, you not only kill the fish you're trying to kill, but you kill the other fish that happen to take the poison. In other words, whether these writings are true or not, I didn't write them. But if somebody did write these in the 1700s, or what have you, when there were slaves, think about the power of those words. When used correctly, it'll last up to 300 years. You think about applying this doctrine to every single person that enters and leaves this country. Period. Not just the blacks, but the whites, the Mexicans, and that's what you have today. Whether this is fake or not, this is going on today. You know, skinny versus fat, black versus white, tall versus short, ugly versus fine. You know, it's just another way to say good versus evil. Oh, I'm skinny and she's fat. She's bad. I'm good. Oh, he has kinky hair and my hair is straight. He's bad. I'm good. Oh, I got brown hairs and brown skin. I'm good. They're bad. The moral of the story is this. Divide and conquer. Once again, this is just another tool when placed upon humanity, humanity loses. Rather, this was written in the 17s or 1800s, it is 2009. And this, I can see. I can see this out in the open. How the young kids speak in the so-called hood. How white people treat white people. I can see that. And this one letter, this one set of simple rules, like I put in the title, you know, people, this is why you think this way. You might not say you dislike that black guy, not out in the open, but you'll say something negative about him or her, or look at how those guys are carrying themselves. Why do they act like that? All those white people, they'd just be, you know, if it wasn't for doctrines and letters and people's philosophies being placed upon people thousands of years ago, We'd be a better people now. If you've noticed in these words, your overseers, your white workers, make sure they use this. Make sure your white helpers do not, I repeat, do not get along with your Negro slaves. Come on. These words are true. Somebody wrote them. Somebody tried to follow these rules and we brought ourselves to this point today. Now, people may think I'm just over exaggerating, but please, you can look at everything said in there and take the word in, word out, take the whole reference to black people out, and you put the word white in there. And that's exactly what's going on with the white community. I said it, white people are acting this out. And that's why I said it. White people are slaves. Black people are washed up slaves. And the Mexicans are next. If you can't see it, then you blind. I live through this every day. I walk through the valley of the shadow of bull. Every day, I see this being acted out. You get around a bunch of young black kids, and every other word is nigga. What do they say about that in there? Change to... Break the mother's language. You know what I mean? Come on, man. If you can't see it, 
And if this isn't real, then how do we explain the mentality of men in this country? Shoot. All the time this country ever gets together is in a movie. And even in the movies, the white guy got to go through the black neighborhood, he's got to have a black guy with him. The black guy gets him through the neighborhood and something happens to the black guy in the end. And Leroy was a good man. I'll make sure his family gets his share. The hell that me. But um, the main problem with our form of humanity is that we have been manipulated to the point that we don't trust each other. Not, I don't trust this white guy or I don't trust this black guy. It's like, okay, I trust this white guy. I don't trust those white guys. I trust this black guy, but those other black guys are bad. Man, that girl is cool, but these other ones is bitches. And that mentality all spawns from those letters. So, if it isn't true, which it may not be true, how can we explain the mentality of some whites and the mentality of some blacks? And how whites and blacks and the overall human nature is written out in, this, in these letters. And the overall human nature, it shows that everybody's doing this. Not just whites to blacks, whites to whites, whites to everybody, Mexicans to blacks, Mexicans to everybody, blacks to everybody, blacks to whites. Everybody is living this doctrine which somebody wrote, which I refer to it as the manifesto in the other song I did. So please, if you think humanity grew this ugly, you're wrong. We have been pushed into a corner and told the only way we can get out of this corner is to make sure someone else stays in the corner. Instead of worrying about getting out of the corner, we're too busy holding other people in the corner, thus never leaving the corner ourselves. And that is on a global basis. The puppeteers, the wizard, the man behind the curtain, this is a joke to him. Pretty soon, this person is going to tire of us. I don't even need to say no more. It's because right now, there's a group of people hell-bent to destroy me. And then there's another group of people out there who don't understand me. And then there's another group of people who don't give a damn about me. And the only person in the middle of this that really even cares is myself. And the only one person gives a damn about your existence. Even amongst your own people. What does that say about people as a whole? Now, if all the white people that love me, and all the black people that love me, and all the Mexican people that love me, and even me, all the part of me that loves me, if all those entities got together and just love themselves, each other, I got white friends that can't stand Mexicans. I have Mexican friends that won't even be around white people. I have black people that you can't take these folks nowhere sometimes. But then I have a group of each one of these people in this group willing to sit down with everybody in the other side of the group. That is the brilliance of humanity. The will to let it go for the purpose of one purpose. That's peace. A lot of people can kick it regardless of what color they are. But it's just those people who this has been installed in too deep. And people don't forget. So until next time, if you found any knowledge in this, remember this. Whether the words are real or not, or true or false, if there's any of your life in any of those words, then maybe God can help us all. I don't know. Till next time, pass it on.